Hi, welcome back to how to write a platform game in Java. Uh, in this video, we'll talk about how to use keyboard inputs uh, to control the sprite. So let me show you what we did last. Well, actually, let me show you what we're gonna want to do today uh, in this video. And so I changed the image so that now this is the, uh, a platformer character, and we want to be able to control this. If I press right, it move right. If I press left, it move left. If I press up or down, it move up and down. Uh, of course, you know we don't want to move up and down like that, but uh, at least for now, we want to be able to control this sprite by the keyboard. If I press uh, down and left, then it'll go diagonally. Um, okay, so that's what we want to do today. Um, so last time we had we had um, the last few videos we talked we had a program called First Program. So I'm going to change this so that it says a uh, platformer. And then when I go in, uh, I add in a, a new image called Player.png. So I'll just delete the tank one, so now we won't need that tank one anymore. Uh, and then I'll call, again, because I changed the folder to platformer, uh, the file that has the uh, the voice setup must also be called platformer. So again, uh, the the one that has voice and setup, I uh, know, sorry, I mean uh, setup and draw must be the same name as the folder. And then we also had a sprite class the last time. We, we want to make this object oriented. So we have those two files, and then we have a uh, the, the player image and the data. So if I were to open this, then it open uh, it open both the sprite and the platformer together. Okay, all right. So let me um, show you what we're gonna do here. So we're gonna, we need a, a couple methods here. So again, uh, processing make this very easy. There's a method called key press. So void key press, and what this method does is that um, it's a uh, it's gonna get get call uh, whenever a key is pressed. So this is so as we loop in through the draw method to draw and update our images. If I press a key, it'll take a pause and then jump down to key press and then process um, what we want code that take care of when a certain key is pressed. And there's also a related. Um, method called key release and then this method is called whenever a keys is a key is released and so the idea here is that we're gonna use these uh, to control our our character okay so let's go back here and make this uh, let's let's make this zero even though it's zero by default for now so okay so the the idea here is that if I create a sprite and the velocity is both zero in the x and the y direction. Then whenever I display and then update it, then it's not moving because my velocity is zero. Um, and so now, how, how do I want to? How do I move this? Well, I want to move my sprite by doing this. If I press a key, so if so, the, the way it works is that if I say key code is the the variable that represent the key that I press. Um, and if if key code is right. That means that uh, I press the right arrow. So again, notice these are reserve variables in processing. So if my key key code is right, then I want to do this. I want to change my velocity in the x direction to say five. So what that means that uh, if I press the right arrow, then my velocity of the sprite is now five. Um, and then let's just do. Let's copy and paste this and do the other cases. Uh, else, if the key the key is left, then I want to make it maybe negative five. You know what? Actually, uh, this is a variable that let's actually make a um, static variable here. So final static. Uh, this is a float, and it's going to represent the move speed. So my move speed is going to be say uh, five pixel per frame. So that, um, I'll make this be move speed. I want to have these variables so that way, if we need to change it, we only have to change it once. Um, okay, so there it is. So if I move right, then I my velocity is positive. If I move, if I press left, then my velocity will be now negative. Um, and the same thing for the. So I'll just keep uh, copying and pasting this, and do all of the direction. Uh, if I press up, for example, then it'll, the change y is now. By the way, if I again because the in the last video we talked about how this is inverted, so if I were to move up, 
then the move speed should be negative if I were to go down because the y-axis is inverted then I want my y-velocity to be uh, positive here so this will allow me to go in all four directions um, and now uh, if I press and hold uh, the up then I want to move up but if I were to release the key so then this will be car and I want everything to be the same except now I want everything to be zero so so this is the logic for uh, controlling a sprite so if I press uh, right then I want it to move right but if I were to release the, the, the right arrow then I want the velocity to now reset to zero so all this is good at back to zero so if I were to press and hold a key it will move in that direction if I re release that key then it will reset back to zero so hopefully that logic makes sense um, so let's run that oops uh, let's see I think the image is I didn't rename it uh, so let's go back and make sure I rename it so I delete this so this is called player.png so I'll run it again there it is if I press right he'll go right if I press left he'll go left up and down etc yeah so this is kind of the, the easiest way to move a character it's actually it's still it's not the way the best way to do it there's another bit better way of doing this there's a couple of subtle glitch here but for the most part you people you, you probably can't notice those glitches anyway so th this will this is the easiest way and it'll work and we'll just do that um, okay I think that's all I want to talk about in this video okay thanks for watching